And now, from Alaska's sports leader, here's Beth Burge. Good Wednesday evening. We are at the Alaska Airlines Center. Day two of the Great Alaska Shootout in the books. We start, though, with the true home team, UAA taking on CSU Bakersfield tonight here at UAA. Seawolves control down by three. Today's headliner, Seawolves versus the Roadrunner. Seawolf possession sticking to the perimeter, but this is somewhat telling. Despite the hustle, a bit slow and low scores, and it looks like a turnover to CSU. Bakersfield gets it back, but the whistle is blown. A scrappy contest here at UAA tonight, and the home team trying to hang on, going into halftime down 25-14. Then seeing a three from CSU guard Damian Durham steer, not looking good for UAA, and it does stay that way. They shoot just 28% from the field, 10% on three-pointers. Everyone held to single-digit scoring. Unable to find that perfect chemistry on the floor, the Seawolves fall 59-39 to CSU Bakersfield tonight. Let's back up just a little bit. Earlier today, Cal Poly and College of Charleston tipping off in the very first game of the men's tournament. We're having a few technical difficulties here, but Cal Poly Mustangs trying to burn time here on the perimeter before taking a shot. They would turn it over, not a steal, but a shot clock violation. About five seconds on the clock, and Charleston was unable to cash in with an open reverse layup. Those two would go into overtime, or halftime, excuse me, with Cal Poly up 28-27. Still close at the second half, 62-61 with 145 left. Cal Poly would break away with a lead and go on to win 73-68. In game two on the day, Central Michigan playing Sam Houston State. We go straight to the end of the first. Sam Houston State hanging on to the final possession of the half. That is John Dewey the third heading for the top of the key. 42-30 Central Michigan here. This would be the trend for the rest of the game. That gap hardly closed by the end of another 20 minutes of play. CMU taking this win 71-60 and moving on to play Cal Poly Friday evening. And last but not least, this one may look familiar if you joined us at 5 and 6. Idaho taking on Santa Clara in first round play. The latter opening up the scoring. Certainly a slow game to start, but Idaho would open up a bit of the lead after 12 6, 10 minutes in. But Santa Clara would close that gap. A tray from Matt Hauser puts the Broncos up 19 17 with under four minutes to go in the half. These teams would go back and forth. Idaho, though, pulling away around 90 seconds left. Three Santa Clara players out from fouls and their opponent going on to take the win, 69-59. Here's what Coach Don Verlin had to say after his team's comeback. I've got a lot of veterans on this team and, and guys who have logged a lot of college basketball minutes. And, and, and they did what I expected them to do is, is sit down and fight like crazy. Take our hats off to Santa Clara. They, they, they were tough. They were physical. They got us out of our stuff. But a heck of a win for the Vandals tonight. And here's what's coming up for this final run of the shootout. Tomorrow, a big day. Men's play does continue in the evening, but during the day, it is all about the women's championship. The third place game between Binghamton and Maryland Eastern Shore precedes that. But UA will play Tulsa at 234, the title that is here at the Alaska Airlines Center. And looking at the men's lineup, again, Thursday, the men's consolation games are going on throughout the day. UAA will be part of that. But the semifinals for those who are still in it, those begin on Friday at 530 with Cal Poly versus Central Michigan. Idaho will play CSUB at 8. Still a ways to go to get to the men's championship, but that will take place on Saturday night. And last but not least, this is usually a Tuesday thing, but we could not fit it in yesterday. So college football playoff rankings, yet another week of shakeups here. Now the committee chair does say the separation was narrow between the top five teams this week, but on the heels of a crazy weekend of games, the 11-0 Alabama Crimson Tide still in the top spot. Miami Hurricanes bring their turnover chain to number two, jumping ahead of the Clemson Tigers. And then rounding out the top four is Oklahoma, 10-1 after a win over Big 12 foe Kansas. Undefeated Wisconsin comes in at number five, followed by Auburn, Georgia, and Notre Dame. And that's it for us tonight here from the Alaska Airlines Center. Of course, play does continue tomorrow. There are games on Friday. The men's championship is on Saturday. Patrick Enslow comes back with sports tomorrow evening. Mike, back to you. All right, Beth, thanks so much for the highlights and the wrap-up. And we'll be right back. Jackie takes a final look at our Thanksgiving Day forecast.